People Incorporated has officially run out of funding used to provide the homeless a place to stay. But this isn't the first time. News 5's Christy Calcagno finds out why the funds have dried up. Yeah, that's right, Julie. People Incorporated here in Abingdon have really been hit hard by the pandemic. Now, before COVID-19, they were averaging about $10,000 to shelter the homeless in our area from local hotels and motels. But now, because of it, those numbers have exceeded, reaching 300,000. Now, last month, federal funding was able to do a temporary fix, but that money has since dried up, leaving 70 families facing eviction. If someone doesn't step up uh, with substantial amount of money, then uh, there are going to be people uh, during the pandemic who will be literally homeless on the streets of our region. Now, all hope is not lost for those families. Actually, a Virginia agency is stepping up to help. Coming up later on News 5 at 6, we'll hear how this temporary housing is a lifeline for some and how People Incorporated is making sure that the homeless population in our region have a roof over their heads. Reporting live in Abingdon, Virginia, I'm Christy Calcagno, News 5 WCYB. People Incorporated has officially run out of funding used to provide the homeless a place to stay. And as News 5's Christy Calcagno finds out, this isn't the first time that it's happened this year. Christy? Yeah, Julie, federal funding provided a temporary fix, but since then, all of that money is gone. Today, 70 families were facing eviction, but a Virginia agency stepped up to help. We have literally run out of money. Before COVID-19, People Incorporated spent an average of $10,000 a year on sheltering the homeless in local hotels and motels. So far uh, during the pandemic, we've spent about $300,000 for that. Goldsmith says CARES Act funding filled the gap, but that money dried up, making it difficult to provide temporary housing. So what now? Where did these 70 families go? We didn't make a promise to continue to house these individuals forever. Once they're displaced or once they are uh, don't have any funding to continue to house them into a shelter, we don't know where they're going to go. Temporary housing is a lifeline for people like Melissa and Tony. I feared every day that something was going to happen and I, she would not have a place to lay down and sleep, you know, a place to plug in all of her machines that keep her alive every night. It was scary is what it was, very scary. They now have a more stable place to stay. Lost my house, lost her, lost everything I had. Oh, the motel is all right. They're living in a tent. Teddy Arwood was living in a tent in Bristol for nearly a year before People Incorporated stepped in. I have a home that you can call yours and you can walk out the door and lock it behind you. For the 70 families facing eviction, they'll continue to have a place to stay, at least for now. Just got off the phone with state officials. They are going to be sending us some additional funding. This has been a roller coaster, and I'm not sure that that up and down ride is, is going to be over. Now, these roller coaster of events are far from over. Execs at People Incorporated will be in talks with the Virginia Department of Housing and Community Development on exactly how much funds are needed. They tell me it's somewhere around 300,000. Reporting live in Abingdon, Virginia, I'm Christy Calcagno, News 5 WCYB.